Hi, I'm Keith Burley, producer and DP located near New York City. Rebecca at Cruise Control asked me to make this podcast for you, telling you how to put up digital audio files with time code transcription to an FTP site. Now, we may not have Rebecca jumping up and down in slow motion on a spider pod for you, but what we do have is Captain America himself, Mr. Steve Rogers. <laughs> Hello, Steve. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping us with our podcast. I had no choice. You told me you'd call someone else for Tuesday if I didn't do this. So, Steve, Rebecca calls and says she has a client that needs an audio file with time code put up on an FTP site. What do we do? What equipment do we need? First, you need a stereo digital audio recorder that can record MP3 files. These files are a lot smaller than the full fidelity WAV files and can be uploaded quickly to the transcriber's FTP site or in some cases emailed as an attachment. Couldn't I use a computer? You could use a computer. However, there are many small compact recorders available that are perfect for the job. It's also important to get a recorder that has manual input level control and a plus if you can control each channel's level separately. Why do I need a stereo recorder? You need two separate tracks because on one track you'll record a mono mix of the dialogue you want transcribed. On the second track you'll record the time code from the camera. When the file you record gets uploaded to the transcription company, they listen to the one track of the recorded dialogue and have the equipment that reads and displays the time code that they will use to timestamp the type transcription. Can you record time code on an audio track? Yes. The time code signal can be transmitted or recorded just like any audio signal. Why do I need a recorder with manual levels? You have to be able to adjust the recording level of the dialogue track and the time code track separately. The time code track also has to be recorded at a much lower level than the dialogue track because running on an unbalanced system, the sound might bleed through to the dialogue track, making it hard for the transcriber to hear the dialogue track. It's that loud? Yeah, listen. Wow, thanks for that lovely volume adjustment. Is there anything else? You also need some cables, attenuators, and audio adapters that allow you to send a mono audio mix from your microphone mixer to one channel of the digital recorder and an attenuated time code signal from your camera into the other channel of your digital recorder. The attenuators are important because the time code signal is much hotter than the plus 4 dB line level signal. Did I mention we won a communicator award for the Reef Aquarium DVD? Have you no shame? None. And you could buy it online right now at www.reefaquariumdvd.com. Are you done yet? Okay, back on script. Wow, Steve, do we need all of this equipment? If you want to do it the hard way. However, in keeping with the current economic situation and downsizing, including the rates you pay me, I was able to get a great little adapter called the RTTC box at Professional Sound Services in New York. It has all the input and output connectors you need to send time code in, audio in, it has attenuators, you can control the volume on the time code track, and you can control the volume on the audio track. And all of this comes out on this small little 3.5 millimeter connector that gets plugged into your recorder. Even though it's a single connector, it still has two channels? Yes, this single connector has two channels, one channel of your audio and one channel of the time code. Okay, so how do we set it up?
Now we're going to make a recording of the audio, separate from the one going to the camera. I'll be the talking head for the demo. Make sure you also remember to roll your transcription recorder when you roll your camera. This is a test recording to show how to make an audio file. Check, 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 boring corporate talking head that you wish you were somewhere else, but you stay because you're happy to make the money. Check, 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 check in the bank. Then, once we have the MP3 files recorded, we can transfer them just like any other file that you transfer on a computer. Just drag and drop. Now it's time to transfer the file from our recorder to the computer. We have a USB cable plugged into the back of the computer. We're going to open up our recorder to access the port. Now that cable comes with the recorder, right? Yes, the cable comes with the recorder and we're waiting for the computer to recognize it and it recognized the recorder and we're opening up this and we're going to select the file that we want to move and we're going to drag that over to our desktop and we're going to go over to our desktop now and there is the file on our desktop. Can we play it just to make sure it's there, Steve? Sure, as long as we have a player built into our computer. And it's playing. Okay. Check, check, check and we can hear it now. Now that the file's on our computer desktop, we're going to open up our program. This is the FTP program that helps us load up to the FTP yeah. site. Yes, it is. This is the FTP program that lets us upload to the site. This is our site and we're connected. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to the file, highlight it, and we're going to go up and we're going to transfer it and it's uploaded there to the site. This is our hard drive right over here on the left and then you could see it went all the way over to the clients FTP site right over there on the right hand side. Well that was easy, but a lot of my jobs today now have smaller cameras with no timecode output. How do we get a timecode transcription there? Well that Keith is the subject of another podcast. What's this? You said you wouldn't charge me for today. I didn't say anything about rentals. How about a DVD? No. Two DVDs? No. A oh, case? No. <sighs> If you need a video shot, produced, or edited, call Keith Burley at 973-464-1079. If you need a good sound man, you could call Steve. His number is 917-538-5752.